Ladies, training some kickboxing combos on the focus mitts is a great way to have some fun while getting in a great workout, all while practicing some basic self-defense strikes. Hey, I'm Cheryl here along with Master Jonathan, and we are the co-founders of Empowered. We strive to help women and young girls build confidence and find their inner strength through defense and empowerment training. Today's video, we are going to show you some fun yet effective kickboxing strikes and combos you can do with a partner and focus mitts. Partnering up with someone like a friend or family member to pound on the mitts while having some fun is a great way to get in your workout, spend some quality time with someone, and release some of that pent-up aggression built up during the workday. Ma'am Cheryl and I are now going to break down a food kickboxing combo for you on the focus mitt to keep your workout exciting, interesting, and again, release some of that stress. Okay, today we're gonna go over the hook, cross, hook, knee. Facing your partner, left leg forward, right leg back. I'm going to hook with my left, cross, hook, knee. Good, now make sure when you're doing the knee, it's always a really good idea to grab a hold of your partner, whether it's the shoulder or I'm doing a clinch around their neck or head. So again, hook, cross, hook, knee. So left, right, left, right, like we've been talking about. One, two, three, and four. Whenever you can utilize that left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left flow, definitely capitalize on that. And we'll do that one more time, please. One, two, three, and four. Excellent. All right, now we're going to move on to our next variation of the combo. Okay, the next variation on this is the double knee. The same thing, face your partner, left leg forward, right leg back. I'm going to hook, cross, hook, one knee, two knees. And if you've been paying attention, you know that whenever she's doing knee, I turn my groin away from it. Because sometimes the knee will slip and I'll hit you in the leg. It is what it is, but I'd rather be hit in the leg than in the groin. First look three. One more time, click back. One, two, three, double up on that knee. And I'll move on to that third variation. Okay, the last variation on this is the bob and weave. So back to facing your partner. Serves in a throw strike. Under, up, back to the combination we've been doing. So now, since I'm showing my right hand, my right big hook for haymaker, she's gonna move her head initially to the right before doing the bob and weave, which is that new motion. And because she's coming back to her left, she's now loaded for that left hook to start with. Now, she literally loaded, and I'm actually completely defenseless. Boom, 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 and boom. And that's the beauty behind Bob and Weave. It puts you in a position where you can counter your opponent, and for a split second, they're actually defenseless. Let's do that one last time. Thanks to the slow, so I throw my left. For my right hand, my apologies, her left, right, left, right. And that, that variation of the hook, cross, hook, knee. fun way to get in a great workout with that little bit of impact training and self-defense on the mid. It's extremely important to get condition yourself to get used to actually hitting something that's potentially harder than your body. For more striking or ideas to include in your next focus mitts workout, be sure to check out the Empowered Striking videos and playlists to your right. And don't forget to have some fun with it. And ladies, remember you have the right to defend yourself and you are worth defending.